Hello everybody, uh, this is MultiGK back at you with uh, some videos. I'm going to make this Minecraft one actually, so uh, yeah, this should be out right after Doki Doki if I have done everything correctly, and is effectively a creative building series with a few twists. I can only use blocks that I am in some way able to find in the world, although I do break the rules a few times in this first uh, tiny bit just because... I didn't immediately have the rules in mind. This is basically me just having fun off camera with Minecraft. Um, but I wanted to build big things, but I didn't want to grind as much as you have to to build big things. And that resulted in me kind of just assuming like, eh, whatever, let's just uh, play creative. We'll give myself a rule set. Uh, I can only use certain types of blocks or uh, blocks I find certain ways or something. And it just kind of evolved into this. Now, I hope you guys have been enjoying whatever I've been putting on the channel. Lately, I've been trying. I don't know. It's, 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 I'm not gonna lie, it's mediocre, but I try my best. Um, but yeah, for this first bit, I basically end up customizing three entire islands. Uh, not all the way. Uh, basically, the, what you're watching now is an hour sped up to about 15 minutes. And that's basically what it's gonna be. Each episode's gonna be probably about an hour of content sped up. I might change that formula in the future, but for now, that's like, what I'm enjoying. Um, and I basically just go from the ground up. Oh man, that was my phone. I apologize. I go from the ground up with different things that I'm going to need. Uh, so first a house and you'd probably build something simpler in your first night so you don't die. But I obviously have a luxury of just being immortal. Uh, and yeah, and just so you know, there is infinite, I, I'm going to have infinite resources. It's creative mode. The idea is more that uh, I can only use things I've seen before. Sorry, I, I've already said that, but you know, it's good to clarify. So I'd have to actually explore, which is pretty dope, and go underground and find biomes, uh, but I don't really have to worry about normal survival stuff. And I might go in survival some, sometimes, who knows. Um, it's very ch tongue in cheek right now. It's very just, just by the seat of my pants, just having fun, just doing what's fun. Uh, cause I tried a, I tried a let's play series. I might even link to it at the end of this video. Um, where I, I just did creative survival building and I tried to make like a fort or something, but, ah, oh man, is it boring to record Minecraft? It's a fun game to play, but God, is it boring to record? Um, so that was kind of my struggle and yeah, <laughs> sorry. I feel like, I don't know where I was going with that, but yeah, as you can see, I'm going with the house and, and I want to practice more building i can kind of do good in uh, uh out interiors outsides uh, but i kind of suck at interiors and so i want to practice those this house is not my favorite it's my little starter house it is it's survivable and it's really nice but i feel like the the uh inside leaves a lot to be desired i feel like the block choices are all very brown uh, it looks like a barn that i don't really like um so it might get rebuilt in future episodes yeah, this is a very interesting thing. Um, playing around with recording after the fact and stuff, which I've never really done before. Um, I've always wanted to try voice acting, so this is a great little bit of practice, I guess. And yeah, uh, I really don't like this path either. I feel like this is something that I'm going to clean up and get rid of entirely. Uh, I'm in an uncomfortable position, but I don't really want to make a bunch of noise. So yeah, I should really add music to this. I hope I added music in post, but knowing me, I might have left, left the silence, which means I need to entertain. This The building style changes multiple times. The walls change a few times. The roof changes at least once. And the insides, I don't even think, get done in this episode. Uh, that'll probably be in the next hour. In fact, I start working on a mine before I finish working uh, on the house's insides. Um, but you'll see that it, it just ends up in this really simplistic style that I don't love. I also hope this fast forward isn't too fast. I think it's decently nice. I mean, it's about as fast as I can make it. Um, 400% I think it is. And just, I enjoyed that for some reason. But yeah, this roof is like meh. I don't think it's a good like island roof, tropical roof. I do end up flattening it a bit, but I think that makes it worse. I'm not sure. Um... And I try to put two floors in there and the storage area, and it just doesn't work. It's not the best. Um, 
each island is going to have like its own theme and you know, it's, its own organizational structure. So that's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, I think we're almost done with this part of the build. Um, it's not perfect. I don't love it. I think I end up redoing it again, but I'm not sure. Nope. No, we're good. Yeah. I, I definitely keep it at this point. Um, it's a nice, it's an interesting looking place. I can't say it's nice. I don't love it to death. I don't know what it is. From the front and back, I don't like it. From the sides, I kind of like it. It's all right. Yeah, that gets changed, I believe, because that's just, ugh. Yeah. Too much oak and all that stuff. Yeah, and too many fences, but I didn't have glass. Like, I stuck to the rules in that. I thought, like, well, I don't really have a... Well, that's the funny thing. I do have access to glass. There's sand right there. Huh. That's funny. The the mobs got really annoying. Uh, in the next clip, in a little bit, I think I end up just lighting the entire place out of frustration. I probably should have done, like... <sighs> that's what I should have done, is uh, mob griefing off. Or not even mob griefing, uh, mob spawning. I think you can dis disable uh, mob spawning. I hope you could do only hostile, because I'm fine with animals appearing. <laughs> I might have to name my animals. I don't know. I don't know how animals disappearing works. Like, do you have to leave the chunk? That's a very interesting question because I feel like some of my animals that I had when I started this disappeared, and I had others uh, spawn, and I put them in like fences and stuff. But I thought they weren't supposed to ever disappear once they spawned, as long as you don't kill them. But I could be wrong. So yeah, here we do some uh, some redos of the windows. And the fence windows aren't the best. I think the worst part is just that they match everything so perfectly, I guess. Hopefully in the next few uh, episodes, I just replace all this stuff with glass. It might not look better with glass, though. I mean, I could dye it, depending on, like, the flowers I have around here. I do think there might be ox eyes on one of, this, one of the islands. I wouldn't do yellow. Yellow matches the brown, but that's too much brown. I'd want something that pops out, like... Maybe gray, blue would actually be freaking fantastic, which I have found lapis under this place. So yeah, here I did like just a one floor thing, which might have been better. And then I ended up doing a two floor thing, which I don't know if that shows up in this video. Um, I think if I were to go back into it, I'd try to separate it into different rooms and on a one floor layout and make like a small bedroom. It stays as one big room, I believe, by the end of this. Like there's just a big, there's like a bed in the corner and some crafting benches and it's just not that creative. It's not my favorite thing. Yeah, this isn't that nice. Like, the kitchen, but it's also the bedroom, but it's also the living room. It's also the crafting area. It, it's weird. I'm, I'm going to have to really work on it. I guess it doesn't help that the door is in the center of the entrance, like in the center of the building. I could probably make do with a door that's off to the side a bit. Uh, I think that would look a little bit better, but you live and you learn. I make a little campsite outside and put little like, bar barrels or whatever. They were new. They are new. And so I like them. More storage. Damn, look at that go. It looks like I know what I'm doing. Actually, I'm just looking through freaking things and trying to find stuff that I can build with. Uh, the entire time I was doing this, I was actually just listening to like random YouTube videos and podcasts and junk like that. Occasional music. Like It was nice to not have to talk to the camera. It's just, oh, I'm going to put recording on in the background. I'm going to enjoy some content. <laughs> The trapdoors are definitely an improvement, I would say. At least on the top level. I don't know. Too much brown. Too much brown. Maybe I should try to institute some cobble or something. I did find birch on the other side, but birch and oak. Ugh, it's the same. It's too much of the same. You guys, honestly, if you're still watching, uh, you should comment down below. Let me know what you think of this building. If you have ideas for how to improvement, or if you think it's actually really nice, you know, let me know. So yeah, here we go. We're getting to the end of this clip, and I think here is where I start lighting. I got angry with all the mobs. I didn't realize that you could, you know, try to turn mob spawning off or something. Uh, and I just went, I went wild. I could even, I could even just go in peaceful mode, honestly. Like it's really simple, but no, I just lit up the whole thing. I was angry. I was like, screw these guys, man, man, getting all in my way, getting on top of my build. I have to kill spiders all the time. So I was like, I'm done with this shit, <laughs> which is super silly of me. Uh, here we start another island. Uh, this one eventually gets a lot of upgrades, and its terrain looks actually almost completely different. Uh, this one's really hype. I, I love this one a lot. It gets its own house, and it becomes our logging area, which is a bit of a spoiler, I guess. But, you know, there it is. You haven't seen it yet. You just you know what's coming. Excitement for a future episode, I would assume. Uh, and here we're about to switch. I think we're going to go to the third island. Um, 
not much to say about the third island when we skip over there. Uh, it has some cool animals. I think it ends up with some horses. So it might be a stable slash ranch island. I might expand the sand and just make it more sandy instead of greeny because the other ones are very green. That's an option. It'd be annoying to break and place all that, but you know, I'm I'm not a I'm not a freaking world edit guy. All right, I, I I don't I don't do that. I could try the replace command and really make it easy, but like learning that command and then typing it in takes about as much time as the dirt thing. Honestly, no. I'm going to have to look into that and just, like, make this an, a, a sandy island. I don't know if I'd want horses and sheep on a sandy island, though. You want them to eat? It's a whole it's a whole question, honestly. I haven't played this Minecraft world in a bit. I have several hours of footage, and probably tonight I'm going to play some more. Um, but i got to say that uh, if any of you have been enjoying uh, anything on the, on the channel, uh, feel free to just drop a comment about it and let me know. I love having turtles and other animals. I just realized the other day we have like pandas in the game. So there's like turtles, pandas, tropical fish, salmon, all these things. And it's really freaking cool. Um, I don't know if I'm using the texture pack yet, but I eventually got a texture pack that makes all the like sugar cane like 3D. Ooh, super cool. Super freaking cool. Like very vanilla though. Same vanilla texture, but in 3D. Uh, it makes it feel solid. It makes it feel uh, real. Um... And here, I'm just exploring this area. I, I'm just looking around. Honestly, I'm thinking. Uh, that's a big part of uh, Minecraft, I've realized, is, is uh, sitting down, looking at an area, placing blocks, breaking them over and over, back and forth, uh, talking to yourself, thinking to yourself, and then doing stuff. But in this last clip, uh, I, I think this was the next day, I decided to just skip over to the mine. I didn't know what else to build um, next to the house. I'm sorry for my uh, cable hitting the mic. But... I was like, let's just build a mine, uh, because then I'll see stuff underground, and I'll have new stuff to build with. Like, now I can totally justify building with stone, sandstone, sand, and whatever else I find down there, uh, which is uh, quite a bit. Ah, uh, yeah, man, 12-minute mark. We're almost there, guys. Um, like I said, if you have suggestions for what to build on these three islands... Uh, drop them down below, but I think the uh, thing I did was I decided to choose these islands. I, I picked a map uh, with a map generator tool online, specifically a map that was islands, because I didn't want so much land to, to fill up that I would overwhelm myself, and the islands are a very nice limiter, and like I said, I can then explore out from there. Uh, I don't know why I just freeze here, apparently. That's hilarious. I forgot to cut that out. <laughs> but um, essentially, the islands limit me in a way that I find refreshing because I have to think around that I could do bridges and stuff like that. I could do whatever I want. I could add boats. I could add like a floating Island. That's not very realistic or normal. Um, there's all kinds of options. Um, I think with the fill tool in Minecraft, you could make a fake Island if you really wanted to, but yeah, this mine goes all the way to bedrock has like a nice spiral to it. I eventually find a, a canonical reason I build like a like a like a path for the grass to have grown down to the bottom because I don't have silk touch. Ooh. Um so that's kind of silly, but there you go. I tried to keep things reasonable, but I also break the rules all the time just because sometimes uh it just makes sense that you'd get this next or whatever. Uh and I, I didn't part of me was like it doesn't make sense like I could just place grass here and we can assume that I made the grass grow down here. Uh, but part of me was like, well, nope, nope, it wouldn't make sense. It would take a lot of time. You should at least show a path. So this mine ended up looking pretty interesting, pretty funny. Uh, now that I think about it, actually, the mine doesn't get finished this episode. We will probably see the very ends of it, the very nice decorations upon it uh, next episode where we actually add um, like stairs, you know, because right now it's, you have to hop up and down. Uh, I think I had a water pool at the bottom. <clears throat> I might not. I'm not sure. And I had a little house at the top, and there's me just jumping up and down and looking at the spiral, enjoying the hooey. Uh, but yeah, we had a little house at the top for protection, a uh, little sunroof that uh, I got from uh, watching X's Adventures in Minecraft. You got to have the sun hole uh, to make sure that the mobs don't attack you. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this, uh, there will be more of it. There will be other things on the channel. I don't even know what they're going to be yet. But I hope you enjoyed and see you later.